This video finds the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence. I agree with several of you that commented on our, in our group chat that you could just add them all up. That would be fine. Some of you really want to use the formula though. If you want to use the formula s of n, the sum of the n terms in the sequence is a of 1 being the first term in the sequence times 1 minus r the common ratio to n. n is the number of terms in the geometric sequence. Okay, so again, some of the, the problem usually is that you don't realize to float that a of 1 to the top. It's a of 1 over the number 1. You don't use a of 1 twice. There's only one of them there. It's on the top. So just I'm just going to put it on the top for you. So a of 1 is negative 1 half in the first one because that's the first term in the sequence, negative 1 half. And then times 1 minus negative 1 half to the fifth because the common ratio on it is also negative 1 half because each and every time it's multiplied by negative one-half. And then do the math in the top of the numerator, divide by the denominator, and you get negative 11 over 32 for the sum of the first five terms in that sequence. So the second one here on letter B, they have this fancy sigma symbol, and that just means we're going to find the sum of the first term through the ninth term. The first term, plug in the number one in here, is five times four to the first. So five times four to the first gives you 20, the common ratio is 4, and then there's 9 terms in the list. So plug those numbers in, divide the, the numerator by the denominator. Remember, maybe put more parentheses around the top and another set of parentheses around the bottom if you're trying to put that all in your calculator at one time, or just find the top and then find the bottom and then divide them. If you have any further questions, let me know.